and uh, needs better lighting. This pulley is in this hand wheel or what they call a balance wheel is uh, NSG or not so good so anyway yeah um, the question is is there another hand wheel available uh, from a, like a, uh, a LU 562 Juki or maybe from a Singer 111 W 155 or uh, from some other um, 111 W 155 clone like a uh, console 226 hand wheel I know these hand wheels are available okay but uh, I just don't want to deal with this uh, only got a little tiny bit of threads in the whole business anymore and uh, I was gonna make another hub which would entail having the correct taper so uh, you know I gotta figure out what the taper is before I can make it on my buddy's uh, before I can bore it out on my buddy's lathe so uh, you know you got to get with me and tell me what the taper angle is or tell me what the taper is and I'll figure out the angle. But is it a uh, taper pin reamer taper? Is it a metric taper? Is it a Jarno taper? Is it, uh, you know, some other taper? It could be a brown and sharp taper. I don't know what it is, you know, but it definitely ain't a Morse taper. And I don't think it's a brown and sharp taper because a brown and sharp is pretty close to this taper. So, uh, but let's put it this way. It's what they call a difficult taper. And um, I guess you're going to have to tell me now. But uh, it apparently this part right here, this upper surface where the, where the uh, uh, press marks are, this part bears on the end of the shaft of the sewing machine. And when you screw that center bolt down with the washer, the washer bears on the silver part here, of course. you screw that down it drives this hand wheel onto the taper which I assume does most of the holding okay and uh, I'm not real clear on uh, which of these three set screw holes is supposed to engage with the flat there's a flat on the shaft okay if the flat appears to be uh, you know under an eighth of an inch uh, deep uh, maybe a quarter of an inch wide there's a flat okay and uh, in addition to the flat, there's what I call a, a, a slightly U-shaped groove that looks like it was ground in. Groove supposed to be here? Possibly not by the factory and possibly by the uh, console factory. I really don't know because I never looked at the, the main shaft of a different uh, uh, commercial sewing machine before. So the question is, uh, you know, one of the questions, let's put it that way is uh is that the shaft is supposed to have a flat okay uh but is that groove uh supposed to be on the shaft uh, and uh that groove is a mystical thing and uh the shaft itself in my machine is kind of what they call uh boogered up so the shaft is what i call somewhat boogered uh, although it probably can be dressed out uh with a file somewhat and uh file and uh uh, other tools I can get it back to a better state of harmony and uh, uh, you know uh, a, a, a more uh, conducive state to uh, better sleep at night uh, however uh, the question is um, uh, what to do about discovering the taper 
and uh, how many set screws are there supposed to be and how much threads is there supposed to be in the hole originally of this thing see I gotta put this uh, hunk of junk back onto the hunk of junk shaft and I gotta run my machine through its paces to give it the initial test okay yeah and check the timings and all that stuff and after I do all that and determine that the machine is running correctly uh, then uh, I remake this pulley uh, or remake part of it anyway at least the bore and the set screws area out of steel and the balance of it I want to have a bigger pulley out here you know probably the whole the, the, the other pulley will be uh, you know instead of being just this dimension it'll be much uh, bigger okay that's to uh, achieve a speed reduction on the machine because it goes way too fast like it is now.